I am at Sterling the Street Fair. Um, JC, an event. A lot of vendors. There will be a lot of people. It's going to open about like four minutes. I think it starts at 10 o'clock. Um, I set up my stuff. Marie's helping them with the market today. I got almost everything out. They, uh, because we worked with them today, uh, we were able to spread. They gave us a better rate on two spaces. So, um, I put two, two, um, the two folding small black tables here. As you can see, I put out uh, all those Star Wars figures I got. I'm just going to say five bucks. That's some Atari 2600 stuff. I probably won't sell any of that today. Uh, AJ, I put out our Wii U's. I'm going to try and get like 30 bucks a piece for this. And this is the stuff that uh, we bought yesterday, AJ. Uh, and I'm going to try and sell these for 10 Eight, eight or ten at the least, and then I'll try. I try and get our seventy-five bucks back. Like I won't sell this for less than eight or ten. And so if I go, one, two, three, four, six, seven, yeah, uh, I'll I'll sell the bigger stuff. I, I should get our money back. Um, here's my less expensive Atari twenty-six hundreds. Um, I sold. Uh, there's a chance to sell it. I had the space on the table, so I put it out. I actually sold some of it at. Um, uh, the Echo Park, um, Richfield Park um, Carnival event. Here's some random Wii and, and PS3 and, uh, that I've had before. There's uh, just, I, I generally don't put this stuff out uh, lately. I save it for convention stuff, but I had the room today. I don't, you know, I don't even like to put this stuff out because the sun messes up the labels and the cases, and generally they're in good shape. But uh, I put them out today. Oh, that's fine. I'm okay. Uh, when she comes, I'm just going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's about it. No, I'm fine. I can hold that. You're, you're busy. No, I'm not really busy. That's why I'm standing here. Well, you look official and busy, so I don't want to bother you. If I get really desperate, though, I'll ask you, all right? Okay. Um, continuing on. <laughs> this is uh, my, my NES stuff. Some more PS2 Overflow, a couple of Xbox games. Uh, this is all my stuff here. It's all PS1. PS1 that I had saved for years and I just never ever took out and um, finally when I did the first con I was like you know what I'm gonna be the PS1 guy I'll just have like tons of PS1 so um, there it is there. I'll do it so you can see it better I don't know if it's like annoying to do it in an angle to read an angle you can freeze frame and, and see all the wonderful titles I have and, and if you think you wanna ask me for anything you know go ahead and if I can meet up with you, I'll do it again. I'll do it slow. If you can meet up with me, uh, sure, I'll, I'll get it to you. Okay, thank you. Or I'll save it for you. I'll pull it out. Nice and slow. Look at all this PS1. I would literally okay, have, I don't know, I would say uh, over 100 very easily PS1 games. Uh, in a second, I'll show the cases. The cases are a combination of AJ's and, and my stuff. Much like all those figures we got yesterday, that he was regret that he was like not happy. He was like, "Oh, I think I made a mistake." Um, I think he thought they were, they were sell for a lot online, but I guess they don't. Uh, here's my case, and like I said, it's a combination of AJ's and mine. I squeezed a few more things in there because we emptied out the case some, somewhat. Uh, the one thing about displaying games this way is you have a better chance of selling them especially the better titles because people can see them. I like to be more efficient with my use of space, but um, especially games like this, you know, what do you do with these things? Um, but I guess if you have titles that you think like Zelda, Mario Party, I should sell those. You know, I should have, uh, I'm gonna, there's some Game Boy Advance, I'm gonna have to check on those to see what AJ wants to sell them at uh, Flea Market for. Uh, anyway, that occupied two of my larger tables. Um, then I gave Marie one of my white like one of the tables, the white tables, and then the brown folding table she uses for jewelry. And then I gave her uh, this folding table at the end. I have a cover for it. She'll probably put um, a shelf there. Got a tent today because it's uh, sunny. Not like yesterday. They totally mix up the days on us. So I could do really well today. I don't know. It depends how many people come. <sighs> Lots of CDs. Look at all these. Um, case after case after case now I got about like 10 cases and then I get about five small trays um, but that's it that's my space today I doubt I mean there's really should be no way in hell I, I get anything today um, 
Oh, and while I got you, let me just remind you that we're going to have a convention in October. It's going to be great. There's going to be lots of great people there. Um, one of the guys we're going to have is Oak, uh, OK Chief uh, 420. <laughs> I just started watching his videos. He's actually good. He's, uh, what do you call like a dumpster diver. Uh, so he can, uh, he's going to be part of a panel and he can talk. He can tell you if, unfortunately here in New Jersey, we, we can't dumpster dive, but um, where he is, and if you're curious about the art of dumpster diving, which it may be an art, uh, he'll be on our panel. You can ask him lots of questions. And uh, we're still going to be having more people on our panel. Um, we have secured uh, one pretty cool uh, artist. Uh, his name is um, Naz Taljik. You can check his channel. I'll put the link to it in my description. And uh, yeah, okay, that's it. <laughs> if I pick anything up, I'll stick it in front of this video.